Have you ever wondered what the term son of man really meant? I know some of you might read that and say, wow, you know, that's a cool term. That must be just something that Jesus must have just made up, you know, son of man, you know, wow, that sounds pretty cool, you know, son of man, you know, I'm the son of man. But, you know, Jesus didn't make that term up. Um, in order to really understand what the term son of man really means, you must look at the culture and the author and the people that use that term. Now, the scriptures we know are written or were written completely by Jewish people in a Jewish culture from a Jewish mindset. To understand what the term son of man really means, you must look at it from a Jewish point of view, a Jewish perspective. Read it through Jewish eyes, so to speak. Think about it with a, you know, from a Jewish mindset. Now, in the Jewish world, to the Jew, the term son of man is a very loaded term. In fact, son of man is more loaded than the term son of God. In the Christian world, a lot of Christians use the term son of God a lot more than they use the term son of man. But from a Jewish point of view, and we know that Jesus himself was a Jew, actually a Jewish rabbi, as he was called rabbi, he knew exactly what he was talking about, and so did everybody else. Nobody asked him what he meant by son of man. I mean, a lot of, there's other things that he said where, you know, his disciples said, what do you mean, Lord? What do you mean? And, um, you know, he would explain what he meant. But never, never once did anybody ask him what he meant by son of man. They all knew what son of man meant. They all grew up in that culture. They grew up in the mindset. They knew exactly what that was. But today, we have all but lost the true meaning of the term Son of Man. The term Son of Man is an English transla uh, translation of a Hebrew term. A Hebrew term. The Hebrew is Ben Adam. Ben meaning son. Adam meaning man or Adam. Okay? So this brings a little bit more... This opens it up a little bit more. This it unfolds it a little bit more for you. We're opening the present, so to speak, right now. So the term son of man literally means, it comes from, you know, it's an English term that comes from a Hebrew term that means literally son of Adam. But you might say, well, what does that mean? And why is that so important? Why is that so um you know, why does that carry so much weight? Why is that so meaningful for the Jewish people? Why was that so meaningful to people back in the days of the Bible? Well, you see, when Adam and Eve sinned, God said to the serpent, God said to the serpent, you will be at enmity again. You will be an enemy of the woman and her seed. Okay? We're talking now, we got three people in the in the picture. We've got Adam, Eve, the serpent. Actually, excuse me, we got four people in the scene here. We got Adam, Eve, the serpent, and Adam's seed. Okay? So God said to the serpent, your seed, the serpent's seed, so now we got five people, actually. We got Adam, Eve, the serpent, the serpent's seed, Adam's seed. Okay. He said to the serpent, your seed will strike the heel of Adam's seed. Okay. And the word seed here means descendant or more or less son. Okay. Son. So the son of the serpent, so to speak, will strike the heel of the son of Adam. Okay, Ben Adam. And he said, the son of Adam, the seed of Adam, the seed of the woman, which is actually, you know, the seed of Adam, 
will crush this is the the seed of the of the serpent's head okay the seed the seed of adam will crush the head of the seed of the serpent but the seed of the serpent will strike the heel of the seed of adam i know this sounds a little bit confusing or a little bit you know um not very clear here a little bit foggy but basically in simple terms the term son of adam ben adam son of man refers directly to the prophecy of the coming messiah or the messiah himself because the son of man or the seed of adam will crush the serpent's head so to speak or the seed of the serpent's head and because of that, that there, right from the very beginning, is a promise from God that the Messiah will come and crush the head of the evil one. So that is the Messiah who's coming to basically crush evil. Okay? So the term son of man means son of Adam, which refers to Genesis chapter 3, the war between the seed of the serpent and the seed of Adam, the son of Adam. So when you say son of man to a Jewish person, Ben Adam, what you are referring to directly and specifically is the Messiah. So when Jesus referred to himself as the son of man so much, that's why it caused such a stir. That's why it caused so many people to be like, oh, you know, you actually said you're the son of man. You refer to yourself as the son of man. Because that means if he, call, if he claims to be the son of man, and he's claiming to be the Messiah, he's claiming to be the Christ. Christ means Messiah. Okay. So that is why the term son of man is so important, is so loaded, is because it means specifically, it refers directly to the Messiah.